exhibition is about icons um, that have inspired me in my life, career, um, from music uh, to art, um, the likes of Jean-Michel Basquiat, Andy Warhol, um, in music, the likes of Tupac, and you know, even in um, um, the fashion as well, the Virgils and you know, those type of guys. So we basically came up together and um, we're doing an exhibition based on that. So it's going to be uh, an amazing exhibition and I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be one of my biggest ones. So yeah, it's an exciting one. You mentioned a few of the names. Can you um, tell us who in particular uh, perhaps is an icon of yours or who particularly inspired you? I would say the likes of one name and I'm going to try my best to get that piece over. It's um, Kenny Dodgeleash, I would say. Kenny Dodgeleash, he, he was the, um, he was the one person that signed me when I was at Liverpool. Um, I met him a few times and I still, you know, and me and him still speak every time I see him. He's one of my, like, one of my inspiration of, um, in life. He had a big impact in my life. I think a lot of people out there will possibly relate to the um, post-COVID-19 pandemic, thoughts of a career change. Um, how difficult was that for you to go through and whatever you're willing to share? Because I know you have been um, quite open about your journey, about dealing with depression. So um, what was that journey like for you? And have you got any advice for anyone out there who might be going through something similar, thinking about that kind of career change? Yeah, it could be a scary thought and a lot of people don't want to do it because they're scared of what other people may think of them or what other people may say. I mean, I had the same um, feeling as well when I was going to change voice from football to art. I was scared of what people were going to say or I failed in football, now he's doing art. Or, yeah. So I was extremely scared of that as well. So I can... I can understand that as well. So, but honestly, I it was one of them that I just went completely all out for because I had nothing, um, nothing else. I had absolutely not, um, nothing else. So I was like, is either this or well, nothing because I don't have any degrees or I don't have any. I didn't go to you know. I barely finished high school. I didn't go to college. Well. Barely, <laughs> I didn't go to any university, so there's no degrees there, so I had nothing to fall back on. And um, anybody that's going um, through that as well, that might be scared of what people may think of 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 them, or if they are scared that that um, they're not good enough to you know to make that transition. Nobody's going to be perfect in the beginning. I mean, my artwork from as it is today compared to what it was. Um, let's say 2018, 2019. I mean, I look back and I'm like, what the, heck? what is that? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I was like, oh, no, I can't believe I made that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's one of them that is like, don't worry about it in the beginning. You're never going to perfect it. But if you just start, you're going to be able to find your way throughout the journey anyway. So that's what I did. I, I knew that, okay, this is not perfect. But if I stay at it, you know, I'm eventually going to get better and then going to um, to work my way um, through it. And then that's ex literally everything that I did. So um, I stayed at it. It's been, what, I've been a full-time artist now since since the my first show was um, Manchester um, um, Football Museum in uh, January 2019. So then till now, um, I've been doing it, you know, 100%. So... Yeah, and honestly, I just literally just stay at it, um, laser focused. That's literally it, honestly. And don't be scared. Um, I mean, I was scared as well. So, but uh, eventually, the same people that are gonna say, "Oh, he failed. He's doing this." Is the same people that's gonna come back and say, "Oh, yeah, I see you doing. You know, you're doing well, etc." So, you know, don't you know, stay focused. Stay focused.